Today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix boot failure press any key to continue issue on Windows 10 8 or 7. When you start up your Windows computer, you computer stop boot and a message that says boot failure. Press any key to continue, don't worry, and this video will explain why boot failure occurs and how to fix the problem in simple ways. First restart the computer by pressing Alt plus Ctrl plus Delete button. After the computer restarts, we will first enter the BIOS setting and press Dell or F2 key. To enter BIOS settings and check if my hard drive is showing BIOS settings. To check the hard disk and BIOS setup, first go to the advanced menu bar and then go to drive configuration. In my case, the hard drive is not showing at all in the BIOS setup under drive. Configuration. Now back to the drive configuration go to the boot menu bar. My hard drive is not showing in hard drive order, even after going to boot menu bar, here. It shows no hard disk drive. If you see that your hard drive is not showing BIOS settings then you apply BIOS defaults. Settings, then go to boot menu bar again and see if hard drive is showing or if it does. Not show then think hard disk problem or SATA cable or hard drive power cable problem. Turn off the computer to check and open the cover of the CPU cabinet and unplug the power cable, then go to the hard disk section and open the power cable and SATA cable of the hard disk. This is often the case when the SATA cable and the hard drive power cable become loose and damaged. After opening the SATA cable and hard disk power cable, clean the cables with a clean cloth. After cleaning, attach the hard drive power cable and SATA cable to the hard disk as it was attached. Check if the same problem is occurring then try installing a new SATA cable. Once the SATA cable is attached to the motherboard, open it and connect another SATA port. Then turn on the computer. If you have the same problem after the computer is turned on, you may have a hard drive problem or SMPS problem. I will try to change the SMPS first. In my case the same error is seen here, so I will try to change the SMPS first. I already have SMPS in my house. Before changing the SMPS, first I will open the SMPS that is attached to the computer. All the wires of SMPS are connected to the motherboard and the power cable is attached. To the hard drive I will open those wires in a good way. After opening the SMPS, connect the new power supply. First attach the 24-pin ATX power connector to the motherboard. Then attach the 4-pin power connector to the motherboard. Then after installing 4-pin power connector then install SMPS in the cabinet. Then connect the hard disk power cable to the hard drive. Before you fix it yourself you must know about computer and after watching this video if computer is any other problem then it is your fault. After connecting the hard disk power cable then turn on the computer. If the computer shows the same problem or error after turning on then there may be a hard disk problem. In my case the problem was hard disk power cable. You may have another problem like hard disk. If the computer is still the same problem, be sure to visit a computer expert or a nearby computer repair shop. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.